All right. So we want to talk about what the fuck happened with Tesla over the last few days and more over the last several months. So in the last six months, I'll show you right here. Since the earnings report in uh, in ten is October, yeah, okay, uh, October of two thousand and nineteen, uh, we saw Tesla stock price run from two hundred and fifty seven to about well and hit a high of. $968.99, which roughly gave us a 276% change in the value of Tesla stock. Okay, let me get into a little bit of a forward. I did make a video about this, but this is back when my channel had no viewers. Now I still have not that many viewers, but it's like more than zero, so that's good. But basically what we did was, uh, so let's go back into this date. So what is important to understand as far as context goes for this month was in early January, or maybe late December, there was there were several pieces written about how Tesla, and this is important to know, Tesla has an insanely high cash burn. And that cash burn has the ability to essentially just wipe out uh, any company. And if the cash burn is too high, then a company will remain, un and the company does not make profits to counteract the cash burn, then the company will decrease to zero. Typically, this is what happens. Okay, now that you know that, which is important, so uh, Tesla was on a cash burn, they were on the verge of bankruptcy, these were all concerns for the company, their, uh, their reports weren't doing well, they weren't profitable, period, ever in history, and then something came out. So now before we get into exactly what this earnings report said, I want to go into how I played this. Now I had played Tesla's earnings report and I played it really very weakly. I only paid about $75 on an option, and I sold that option the very next day for about $1,200. And that is well that is well over 1,000%. I had certain friends who, who also bought options to play the, the earnings report, ER stuff, and they made a decent amount. They made 500%, but there was a specific reason why the 300s hit, because my 300, my strike price was exactly 300, and it exactly hit. And because it hit, the account basically skyrocketed. And now, what is important to understand with this is why it moved so much. The expected move with Tesla was not going to be big. Most people were very bullish on it, or bearish on it. But the reason this was so pivotal was, there were three reasons we were able to, because I only bought calls, any of us only bought calls. And the reason we did that were several deductions. One, we figured out that, firstly, Elon Musk is a bit of a talkative person. He's a little bit like Donald Trump. Um... He hadn't said a word in regards to anything for a bit now. And now you got to understand that Tesla was one of the most shorted stocks ever. It was 19% of it was shorts um, in, in the stock in general. So that's pretty important. So he didn't say anything in regards leading up to it. Uh, but there were pieces of information like throughout the year where, for example, Tesla had gotten a gigafactor in Shanghai, uh, this, their production, their model three was popular, blah, 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 all these things, but they weren't rev They weren't making revenue and their cash burn was still too high. But then this earnings report, it beat and it beat very, very, very hard compared to the expected because they're, because the analysts weren't given the information about how their earnings were going to be. So now at this point they did not they weren't necessarily profitable profitable, but they were no longer on a cash burn the way that they were before. And then as a result, we saw Tesla completely jump. I sold out here when I should have sold out here because the same option hit three thousand, four thousand dollars. So uh, the continuation was played after that. So this more or less struck in to call of motion of how this how we hit five hundred dollars the way tesla had continued was just ridiculous when i say play the continuation play the fucking continuation you don't need this shit is this shit is worthless compared to this this whatever option i had within this point was or even this point was worth so much more it's actually ludicrous mode um but yeah so then why so that is obviously the reason why tesla had gone up so much at least up until here what kept it going well it was a new sentiment now the sentiment of tesla had changed it had gone from oh uh this company's not gonna make any money ever period blah 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 uh to hey they're actually producing they're actually selling this is gonna work and the optimism the the, 
general sense of the company started cheering upwards. Now, we didn't see unprecedented growth like we did in the last few days, because in the last few days, we witnessed a growth of 60, almost 70%. And that makes no fucking sense. Be and the reason the reason you kind of started to see these, these unprecedented highs were several things. One, I, I told you a minute ago that Tesla was one of the most shorted companies ever. Well, when the shorts are wrong, they have to do what's called covering their their uh, shorts, which means they have to pay, they have to buy those positions back before they get fucked. When they buy their fucking positions back, you'll see these volume spikes are definitely shorts who are trying to get their positions out. And then here, this most recent run up was definitely the rest of the shorts covering their uh, their positions. And then you could see it here as well. So the earnings finally produced a profitable return. They destroyed it. They, they actually did very well. And for the first time, they were a profitable company. They were not in red, and that was brilliant. And as a result, they actually ended up hitting nine, almost $1,000. And that was really good. Now the company's on an expansion rate, which is why, theoretically, it makes sense for this company to keep going. How far the company can keep going, I can't tell you. But I do know that it is now. It will readjust to some some neutral zone, I want to say 600, maybe even lower. I kind of want it to be lower so I could maybe buy shares, but um, I think it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Uh, you do remember there was a point where Tesla was at 176. Now, look at us, we're at 715. It's pretty amazing how, how this happened, but keep in mind, this is the fun, this is all of this, this is the most fundamental stuff ever. There's no price action or anything that you could really look at and think, oh yeah, this is gonna work. Well, maybe here, this is the most price action thing that you can get, but it's good. And we're gonna keep taking support at these these levels for a while, who we probably will keep going. If Tesla can stay above this, uh, this part of the EMA, I believe that Tesla might even still keep running. Fill this gap slowly instead of quickly. We'll see, uh, but for now, that's my opinion on Tesla. Remember, the shorts were sold, the fundamentals were good, it made sense, but this new price doesn't make sense. This is too high. It's beyond the actual growth. The company is not worth $100 billion in revenue. Therefore, they're not going to stay at that price right now. They're going to grow into it a lot slower. So keep that in mind uh, as you go into these things. A lot of the time when you're doing the math on this, you have to remember that the point of these companies, the point of their market capitalizations are their final their final intrinsic value. The intrinsic value of Tesla will not be a hundred billion for a while now. So keep that in mind as you start trading these things when you're learning, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you guys next time.